Hi, I'm Paul Block, and I'm the third generation of my family to make these here kind of sharpeners. We are 100% American made. We offer lifetime guarantees. We put our last name on our handles since 1988. My dad and grandpa were the originals to make these back in the 70s. They used to sell them to a lot of meat packing plants, um, food processing places, places like that uh, for production line use. It was a great sharpener to bolt down to the edge of a counter for that quick tune up on a production line. Well, for the last 15 years, I've been going all over the country selling my dad and grandpa's original, wherever I, well, the original, and I uh, realized they actually made the best knife sharpener there is out there. Our sharpeners are made to flex, so they pick up on any edge, any angle, but they are two chef steels made to simply reline your blade, put that original bevel back in it. That's important when you have very good knives, especially in the kitchen, your hunting knives, play knives, all of them. But anyway, I fine-tuned this sharpener now. I've been doing it the last 15 years in sports shows and gun shows around the country. I know a lot of you are recognizing me. And um, I put my last name, Block, on the handle along with my website with all kind of how to use it videos there. Now one of the most common questions I get is, will it sharpen swords, katanas, um, Japanese steel, stuff like that? Yes and no. Yes if it has a bevel on it, like I said they need a bevel to pick up on. And if it's flat edged, no, you're wasting your time. You don't want to do a flat edge, sure it is a very nice knife. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is a flat edge. There is no bevel on the blade, therefore you cannot get it sharp with my sharpener because there's no edge to pick up on. Now if you pull this through there maybe 50,000 times, I'm sure you'll get it sharp. But uh, basically the answer would be no. So then you go to... Um, a lot of people ask me, what about collectible knives? Well, here's one that's over 140 years old. And, um, yes, you can sharpen it. It comes to a point, it's got bevel to it. And what I found best is if you bolt it down, draw it through. They take very little to no steel off a blade. You won't wear a knife out using it. And if you do have good blades, you will get them blades shaving sharp. Like I said, we are 100% American made. We didn't ship these off to Dinga Dongo to save money on making them. They're made right. They're made perfect. You will not damage a good expensive knife. Now I hear, well what about Pakistan steel? Well to me, Pakistan steel is junk, but they do make a nice handle, a nice looking sword, and um, you can get them pretty sharp too, because they do come to a bevel. Pull it through, as you watch in the light, you do see a little bit of shaving coming off, real light. Pakistan is the only one that I can get that little bit of shaving off of. I can get these sharp enough to cut paper, but really don't recommend it. It ain't a very good sword, but it's really nice to look at. They only run about 40 bucks. You go into your Chinese, 440 steels. Four story, 440 is alright, but it really ain't that great. You pull it through there, you can hear the difference now. And if you watch, there's no steel coming off the 440. Now it's honing. Here it getting smoother. The harder the steel, the smoother the sound. It'll be smooth sounding. They will pick up on a good 440. Take your 440s. Also very sharp. I'm going to show you uh, that is. Uh, you got the real good swords now. This next sword I got, it runs about $200, maybe $250, maybe $400. I'm not even that sure. It's made in Taiwan, and it's a, a 1060 steel, one of the hardest steels. Absolutely no metal will come off of this edge. Hear the difference? Keep my rods oily. Gun oil works. Just a little drop. And when you get done, you will have a very smooth, very sharp finish. You can hear the difference from that Pakistan sword to a real sword. Because of the flex, they pick up on any edge. And look at here. Shaving sharp, you can tell the difference. I'm going to show you all how sharp they actually are. Take an orange. Look at that. They don't even drip. Oh, dripping now. 
You can't tell me that ain't sharp. Okay. I'm gonna get back, I gotta clean that off. Here's a knife I paid 800 bucks for. It's got 18 karat gold in the handle and uh, blah blah blah. Made back in the 1820s. Someone told me there's no way you sharpen that on your sharpener. Guys, I will not damage your blade. These are very fine tuned, very hard steel. You got good knives, you're gonna take them shaving sharp. Quick and easy. I do like to use cardboard when I'm done. Use cardboard. That polishes the edge. A leather strap does work better, but if you don't have a leather strap, use a piece of cardboard. It'll get you there. Okay. One more thing before I uh, clean up this mess here. Here's a couple more things I found my sharpeners are working great on. You got machetes, thistles, outdoor tools. My pins rock well over 69. They're going to stand up some very hard steels. Get them very, very sharp. Great for your gardening tools. It don't get much harder than a hatchet head. Here's my old Boy Scout hatchet head. Draw it through there. Sharper than a knife. We use the hardest pins we can have made. They rock well over 69. Making my rods and my sharpener way harder than this pile. It will not damage the pins. They rock well over 69. They're 100% American made, lifetime guaranteed. They will not wear out. They ain't going to break on you. I put my last name on the handle along with my website. If you need the best, look for Block. It's no crock. Sharpening a battle axe. Tampa, Florida gun show. Sharpeners are made to flex so they pick up on the original edge. Take that original edge up as sharp as it'll ever get. You see it works. 100% American made, lifetime guaranteed. The block sharpener will sharpen any blade. Bring the back of the knife up as you let it pull through there. You'll feel it getting smoother and smoother as you do it. You will not get no dips or uneven cutting. It'll take you sharp from the back of the tang all the way through the whole knife. Razor sharp. As long as there's some bevel left, the block sharpener will get it sharp. Fantastic. It does every knife and every axe. It does even these kind of axes. It's awesome. I swear by it. Buy it. It's cool. Me from Cincinnati to sharpening is great. All right. It's not a crop. They work. They work because I use them. Not only do I use them, Uncle Sam's military boys use them. That's right. The United States military use them, and they work. They work for me, they work for them, and they'll work for you. So go pick you up a block sharpener today. You won't regret it tomorrow. Block sharpener. Hey, I used it, and I didn't think it was going to be uh, a sharp sharpened as well as uh, all the products that I've used, but this is easy to to uh, hold on to, it's uh, easy to uh, store in my pocket, and it sharpens uh, just as good as he said it does, so uh, I ain't being paid for this, I'm just letting you know that, hey, I only work with stuff that actually works, so. Thank you. What do you think of the block sharpener? It's a great product, been using it now for a couple months. Keep it in my range bag, keep one in my toolbox, pass it on. It's a great product. Haven't found anything it can't do yet. I recommend it. How's the block sharpener work for you? It works really great. I carry, you know, uh, little Kershaws and Smith and Wesson. I carry a lot of different nice little knives. This thing put edges on the 
blades that I could never get, and it did sharpen the, all the kitchen knives. It's a wonderful product, best knife sharpener. I've, I'm 56, the best one I've ever seen. These are awesome. Dixie's finest is the best. Dixie's finest is the best.